let's just a quick overview of this guide design for this upper arch. So we have four implants placed for a potential implant supported bar overdenture for this case. Um, I'm gonna, this is the guide tube in. I'm going to go ahead and turn the surface off so we can look at um, what's going on. So the patient is class three. The patient was scanned with a scan and appliance. Um, he was actually scanned open and not closed, which it's, it's better to scan closed whenever you're trying to build a provisional prosthesis, but that's not the case for this, so we're fine. Turn the scan appliance off. We did a advanced bone segmentation for the maxilla, placed our four implants in, and then um, turned the guide sleeve tubes on, right? So we have our four implants, two on the left, two on the right, um, and then they coincide with the canines in the first molars. And now we're, go we're ready to build our surgical guide. So we placed four lateral pins to stabilize the guide. So the guide is gonna be supported on the, the maxilla and also on um, these lateral pins. So it'll sit on the maxilla. You can drill these lateral pin holes to hold it in place. So you can take your hands out and free to drill. Placed a window in the anterior so you could see, actually see it physically seat. Also, you can see it physically seat in these areas here, right, through the guide sleeve tube. So it'll be pilot drill um, and increase in drill the osteotomies. If any implant is five millimeters or above, it'll have to be, this guide will have to be taken out because it is um, the the drill diameter for each one of these is 5.15, right? So the the inner diameter or the outer di diameter of the drill is five millimeters, and you need a 0 0.15 millimeter offset. And even still, sometimes it's not quite perfect. So I often use these made by Megagen, these hole trimmers, to increase the size of the holes to make sure that they will fit so these are just like little reamers for the for the material so you can print this out in surgical guide resin remount the holes um, also double check these holes i changed the offset of these pins to 2.27 sometimes they're a little bit too small so check this before you put it in the patient's mouth and you should be good let me know if you have any questions